Not the best number in the world, pal. All right, let's do this, baby. We're gonna be cracking two booster boxes of Jumpstart, where you can find some really good value inside of here. Courtesy of Ground Zero Comics, Strongsville, Ohio, Pearl Road. Check them out sometime. Tell them the Moss Boss sent you. That's right. Tell him the Moss Boss sent you. Get one of these things inside of here. A bunch of battle instructions and things of that nature. Let's kick this box to the back for a moment. <clears throat> good luck to the shop. Hopefully some nasty, nasty pools come of this, baby. Can we get that camera, like, chilling? Can we just... Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. We're good to go, baby. We're good to go. I, I, uh, I can't stand how they double wrap them, but it is what it is. Sometimes, guys, you should probably take note of that. All right? Maybe you should double wrap sometimes. All right. Shaman. Hurloon General. Okay. We know what this is all about, so then we get to the end here, and we get the Aztec Mojo. Yeah, in here, I mean, it's pretty obvious what all the uncommons are, but there are occasions where you could get some really juicy uh, uncommons. I think, isn't there like the Rhystic Stutter in here or something like that? One of those things is. Liberator, yet again, with the Ghoul, the Vampire, a whole bunch of other stuff. And there you go, closing it out. All right, we are looking for one card in particular. Actually, two cards, but really one card. Two cards, though, two cards. The Phyrexian Swampy. Ooh, let's get Muxus right now. Nailed it. Get off me. Oh, that is so good, baby. Nice pool right there. Good old Muxus and all of his nastiness. Love that deck. Uh, Thriving Bluff and the old Mountain. I think that was the last deck tech I did was on uh, Muxus. Um, but yeah, I should be doing more arena videos here soon. Um, it's been a lot of product to crack open lately, man. It's that simple. There's just so much product. And I know a lot of you really like my uh, gameplay videos. Volcanic Salvo and some other things, followed by the Mountain in the back. Okay. Bone Pit Brute. Blazing through. Blazing Saddles. You guys ever seen that movie? Blazing Saddles. That is one hilarious movie. I mean, some of the language is a bit quite inappropriate for the youngsters. But uh, during its time, man, God, that was just one hilarious movie. Uh, we got the planes. That is our sweet card right there. We are looking for the Phyrexia land. Phyrexian nasty land. We got dinos. I've only seen Galta and the dinos. Oh, that's right, Savala's in here, too. Hot diggity darn. All right, nice pool right there with Savala. Cool, cool. And we got our Dino Land. All right, yeah, I forgot about Savala being in there. Pretty dirty, man. Pretty freaking dirty. Not as dirty as my ex. There we go. Uh, what other movies have I watched recently? I watched the series Back to the Future uh, recently yet again. Branching Evolution, legit. I cannot get enough of that, man. Um, Back to the Future is just such a classic, especially the first two. But I hear a lot of people saying the, the second one's terrible. I'm like, what? Like, the first one, obviously, is a masterpiece. The second one, in my opinion, it's, it's almost as good as the first, you know? I think it's really, really cool. The one they go back in time, the one they go, like, into the future. You know, it's, like, really, really neat. Towering Titan coming at you. Assault Formation. Don't underestimate the power of Assault Formation. And the Forest in the back. So, yeah, I just, I don't know. Some of those movies I really, really like. Uh, but Back to the Future is definitely one of them. Just uh, imagine having, like, flying cars and stuff. It's, it's not even hard to, like, think that. I'm sure we have technology to do it. It's just not reasonable right now, you know? Um, it would cost way too much money, et cetera, et cetera. Hoverboards, I guarantee you we have technology for hoverboards. I, I'm pretty sure they're already out there. They cost a freaking arm and a leg, you know? Um, and just a normal citizen, you know, is not going to be able to afford a freaking hoverboard, you know? Uh, we got cats and lurking predators coming at you, followed by our thriving grove, feral, and the forest. Okay, nothing spectacular in that one, but we uh, will keep on cracking until we hit the action. Gabos again. If we pull a second Muxus, that's pretty dirty. It'll be Crank's bank, but what are you going to do? There's Cranky coming at you, baby. Good old Cranky. Goblin lore. Some fun cards in here. Not a lot of nasty Gabos and our Gabo mountain there. I'm trying to think of other movies I've watched recently. The Matrix is always a classic. We can't erase, man. Just kicks. Oh, milling. Come on, baby. Be Granddaddy Master. There he is. Oh, yeah. Mom, I'm telling you, we can afford to do our laundry right You're here. a liar. Look what I just pulled. The Guadalquivir. My dude is just ridiculous with it. Really sweet pull there. Thought Clap, Thought Sour. And. 
Ooh, the island with the face up on it. That's the millstone, baby. That is the millstone art. Similar to it, at least. Not bad at all. Come on, daddy. We are uh, we are doing really good. Seismic. We already know what this guy's about. I think it's always the same one, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Oh, no, it's not. Grim Lava Mancer. Cool card, though. With Magma Quake right there. Legit. And I almost thought we had f uh, three rares in this one, but no. I don't know why I was thinking that. And there's a cool volcano exploding into oblivion. And all the goblins are dying. I know. Sad world we live in, guys, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. We got kitties yet again. I'm not sure if cats are always the same. I think they might be. They are not. Lurking predators. And uh, feline sovereign. Yeah, I don't think they're always the same. It's interesting to see cats in all green. I mean, I guess that's where cats would be, I guess, you know? There's a kitty right there. They could have made that a cute little cuddly cat, and I bet it would have sold like fire, you know? They got the cute little cuddly dog, but they didn't go the cute cuddly cat route. I don't think they went the cute cuddly cat route, did they? Okay, Legion is always bad every time I've opened one of these. Blessed Sanctuary, though, is not a bad card. Okay, so that's the other one you can get out of Legion, is Blessed Sanctuary. Really, really nice pool there. Have not seen that. And uh, Path to Exile, the punt. Yeah, that's a, that's a solid pack right there. Thriving Heath. And in the back, we get the Legion. I don't think that art ever changes on that one. If it does, I have not pulled it yet because we've opened about five Legions. Every single Legion art is the exact same as that, man. Archaeology. Archaeology, what we got? Archaeology, what we got? Scholar of the Trome. Ooh, Buried Ruin. Okay. Hedron, Juggernaut, Meteor Boy, Aether. Okay, a bunch of these, some of these, Lightning Core Excavator, and the island in the back. Okay, hey, it could always be worse, pal. It could always be worse. Whoa, don't slip and slide there. Stay, stay put, stay put. All right. All right, we are um, almost done with this first box, and uh, we got Vampires yet again. What a what? Are we going to get inside Vampies? I think it's always the same one, and that would be... I forgot, Vito's in here as well. Okay, I was thinking of the other chick. Um, that was way off. Okay, thriving more, and we got our swamp. I love art on swamps, like a billion percent. I love the art on swamps. All right, still cracking through. We got ourselves lightning. Again, if they did this in foil, you guys know I love my foil lightnings. Ball lightning is really nice. Phoenix, chain lightning, gotta love it, man. Lightning axe. I could look at the lightning ones all day. Just beautiful, beautiful art on all these. Oh, gosh. Excavator, Bluffer, and there's a beautiful art on that one. Nasty. Really cool. Remember, that first land card is always the one that matters. In case you guys haven't seen 20 of these openings now on my channel, that's all you'd like to know. Ooh, under the sea. Little octopi coming through, huh? What we got? Cabbage. Oh, whale. Rascal. What's the other one you can get in, uh, in this, then? Unstable Opelix. Pretty cool card. There's got to be something else that's pretty legit that comes out of there uh, in the under the sea. Enchantment under the sea dance. <laughs> oh Marty. Oh Marty. Yeah, could you go could you imagine going back in time and you gotta like kiss your mom, you know? In an uncomfortable way? That's kinda weird. You know, that's that's back to the future for you right there. You're doing your own laundry. Predatory, we got Thrag Tusk. A rebirth. Alright. And it closes one out. We got the old forest. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Mix it and match it, baby. First box is almost out of the gate. We got Garrick. Oh, careful. Garrick is always Garrick, though. You'll never get anything different in the Garrick slot. It's always going to be Garrick. And the Harbinger and the rest, I believe, is the same, too. And you get that forest. Every single time. Every single time. Nothing changes there at all. So, it is what it is, pal. It is what it is. All right, we got Shree Hugger. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Last time I told you to mention Hugging Trees in the comments if you were still watching, and many of you did, and that was just awesome. I wanted to throw that out there. Don't think I don't pay attention to that stuff. I do. I think I, re I replied to maybe about 20 of you in that also, uh, just to have some fun, a uh, little back-and-forth combo, um, or at least a response, you know. Um, good times. So thank you so much for doing that. Uh, Quasir Captain, good guard, good guard. Chart of course, piracy, sailor boy. Come on, Cutlass. Airship means nothing ever here. No one seems. Okay. And we got the island with the ships floating in the sky over the, uh, the water there. It's a beautiful landscape and a beautiful ride. 
Oh, finally, last pack monsters back every freaking time. Get off me. Get the frick off me. It's the older whispering one. Daddy O finally did it. We finally did it. We finally did it. Okay, we finally pulled it. That is sweet. All right, and what do we get for this? I'll tell you what we get for this, baby. We get something nice in the back. Oh, there it is. How cool. We've been looking everywhere for you. Cool Phyrexian uh, language there. Looking like gibberish. But, man, that's a nice, nice card we want to pull. Wow. It only took, what, four boxes to pull one? And we finally pulled one. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That is dirty. <laughs> I'm keeping them all together, though. Um, just makes it. Whoops! I already opened that. It just makes it easier. Um, I think for um, for Marcus, if I don't sleeve everything, unless it's like a really high dollar card, like Evolving Wilds. I think if it's a really high dollar card, then yeah, the sleeve approach is great. But it's like 20 and under, I think you know he just goes through them really quick. Maybe throws in the binder or something. It's just one less thing he has to do. Unsleeve to put another sleeve or whatever he does over there. So, all right. Keeping it trucking, keeping it trucking. What can we get out of here? I'll tell you what we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna get the big old elf boy this time. We've done it once before. We're gonna do it again right now. Are you ready? Let's get to cracking, Captain. Skadoosh. Starting off with Teferi. I feel this is our third or fourth Teferi out of five boxes. So not bad. I mean, we almost basically opened an entire case. And Teferi is just pouring out the woodwork here, man. We are seeing them nonstop. And there's the island. Really, really cool uh, deck though. And Tefiri is legit as well. Do not underestimate the power of Tefiri. They must have a lot of hope in Tefiri. A lot of these Planeswalkers, you know, uh, from M21 because they printed the crap out of them. Here's Rogues. Ganti, Lord of Luxury. I forget he's a rogue sometimes. And Enforcer's really, really gravy. So is Una Black. I like a lot of these rogues. Rogue decks, as you know, got a big jump uh, recently. So pretty, pretty cool. All right. Still cracking, Captain. Let's see some of that gold elf boy. Woo! Not elf. That's a devil. All right. That is a devil. I wish they would have reprinted that one drop uh, elf in here. Um, or not elf. Um, what is it? Um, devil. We got a goblin and a devil deck. Why do we get a goblin and a devil? Is that supposed to happen that way? Are you supposed to get all devils? We got a goblin. Okay. And there's our <laughs> death. Uh, not death. There's our devil in the back there. All right. Moving along. Still still moving and grooving. Spell casting. Cool, cool. Ooh, double vision. You guys ever see double? Stacking triple? Hitting quaddy? Maybe? No? Okay. And for the end here, we got ourselves that mountain. Come on. We're going to get an elf and the big elf. We're going to get the, we're gonna get the, the big kahuna, man. Ah, oh, predator. What's this one? And uh, what else are we going to get? We'll pull a lily just for fun. Pull a lily for fun. Predatory. Ooh, Nath of the Dire Hour. That one, or Dire Hunt, sorry. That one's not bad at all. I gotta really fix this stinking setup, man. It's starting to irritate me. Okay, Predatory. Rebirth. I forget what's all in here, so I want to slow play a little bit if I see something that stands out. Not bad at all. And the forest at the end there. Cool. Oh, boy. There we go. Let's get it going, Daddy-O. Here we go. Shroom. Another Predatory. Back to back, you don't say. Thrag Tusk this time. That's pretty cool. Got the Thrag Tusk and Forest at the end. Yep. There's none, but I mean, there's other lands behind it, but they're always the same. You just want to see that first land slot to see what uh, what amazing cool you get there. Feathered Friends, Angel of the Dire Hour. Okay. Gaggle Master. And don't forget, there can be some uh, crazy misprints uh, with these cards, so you never know. Jumpstart. Pack number, I don't know. 100-something that we've opened so far. <laughs> Milling. Ooh, baby. Come on, do it. Be dirty. Ah, oh, yeah. You like that? Uh. What do I like? The Grand Delinquent all up in your face, man. Yeah, I don't like that. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Heck yeah, who would not be happy with that? Um, sir? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Thought Scour is cool art. And we got the Island Millboy right there. Cool, cool. Good old millstone. I guess to put the millstone art on the island in the background kind of makes sense, don't it? Spirits. Is there a high-value spirit card you can get? Shacklegeist? I don't think is it, but it's a nice card. And Rattle Change is pretty cool. All right, so I guess they gave you some decent value right there. We got Deckhand, Sphere Boy, Mistake, and Words with an island. Okay. So I think we pulled all the big, big lands you can get out of one of these, which is um, really cool. Five boxes. You think you'd pull every single deck there is. 
and I'm pretty certain we have. If I missed any, by all means, let me know. Um, but I'm doing price videos on some of these. I'm not going to do price videos on all of these uh, boxes I cracked, but I will do it on a couple. And um, it's going to be interesting to see what all we hit. Island there. Okay. Jump start again. Such a delay on this product. I can't believe it. Reanimated. That is such, man, seeing a, a reanimate card on top, man, that is gorgeous. Just because it used to be worth so much money, man. I can't believe it's a one drop. You could bring back a creature in your graveyard. That is nasty. There's ways, like, if that, if they, if they had that legal, like, historic or standard, could you imagine, could you imagine, like, all right, here's an Ulamog, turn, turn two, a turn two Ulamog. That's why that's why it doesn't exist. <laughs> Immolating gyre right there, or guy or whatever. Um, and we got the mountain in the back. Yeah, no one wants to see turn two crap like that in historic. That's like instant scoops. Ten ten indestructible, and you got to mill a whole bunch when you attack with it. Unbelievable. Spooky and Liliana's standard bearer. There you go. All right, and to the nitty gritty here, we got ourselves village rights is cool and a swampy. Nice, very nice. Very, very nice. Almost done. We got about 10 packs to go. Dogs yet again. Always the same dog. I've yet to see a different one. That does change right there, though. So there's Hound of Conda. A 2-2 two, two for 1. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, Pacifism is cool. Thriving Heath. And in the back, another doggy. Is it the dog always the dog back there? Is it always the same one? I think so. Cool, cool art, though. Cool art on that puppy. What else? We got wizards. Okay, isn't there like a big shot in here as well? Uh, that would not be the big shot. That's uh, that's not it. Uh, substantiate, Talrens, come on. Anything good here? Hoping for something, just nothing. Okay, Island with the, uh, the, the lighthouse in the back for all of its nastiness. Why is this doing this today? Why do you do this today on all the days you choose today to act a fool? You choose today to act a fool. Okay. Sorry, guys. No idea what's going on with the camera. It just does what it's, it wants lately. I gotta fix the stand or get a new one altogether. All right, we got Tefiri. So, again, we pulled six or five or six Tefiris now out of here, which is just insanity, man. There he is again. Tefiri just everywhere. Unbelievable. And Island out the back. Yeah, that's five. That's, I think, five. That's five eerie. We got a five eerie going on here. <laughs> here is minions. Okay, we haven't opened a minions one. I don't think at all yet. Um, and then, yeah, except way back. Cal's fight fixer. There you go. Cool card with which is cauldron. There's eliminate. I don't. I think we've opened maybe one of these, but we didn't pull this chick. Um, and there's swampy. There you go. Maybe we. Yeah, we had a spooky over there too. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm having fun with this. Come on. Can we? Can't, can't. Elf? Is it an elf? Is it an elf? Is it an elf? It's heavily armored. Okay. Uh, Duelist Heritage. I've not seen that one yet. Pretty cool. And High Sentinels of Orashin. Okay. And then we can skip on through this. Get to the goods. And the planes. The boring old planes. That was, that's my least favorite one now because I've seen it so many times. It's just like kind of blase, you know? It's like watching the same movie a hundred times or something. Got dogs again. Which poodle will we pull out of here? Pack leader, always. And we got Honda. <laughs> Honda. We got a Honda Accord right there. All right. I drive a Honda. Little did you know. Planes again with the doggy. Really cool. This will probably be the very last pack. Of Jumpstart, you ever see opened on Bad Boy Gaming. Um, very last box we'll ever do of Jumpstart. So if you guys did enjoy the Jumpstart extravaganza, by all means, please um, give yourself a thumbs up. And uh, one for me, too. That'd be nice. All right. Thanks, guys. Spellcasting. Here we go. Spellcasting. Here we go. Get, get, there we go. All right. Boom. Emulating. Okay. Double cast. And the mountain in the back. Cool, cool. I can't believe we went through all this. We blazed through it so fast, too. But you're really only looking for, you know, 
certain things out of these, man. That's it. Certain cards. And it's always a pack leader. Always. And there's a savior. See, so it does change a little bit there. Now you know. Then the doggy again. Okay. Got that doggo again. Last pack. Let's go, baby. Oh. What's it going to be? Hopefully something good. Something good. Oh, tree huggers. Oh, man. Just, just, come on. Just a commemorative. Let me hear about your tree hugging days. Tell me all about them in the comments if you made it this far in the video. Dear Joey Morse, it was a wet and cold evening it was, and I had no place to go. Shivering, cold, tired, lonely and desperate, I happened upon the biggest log I've ever set me eyes on. My arms flung open as I ran towards the- <laughs> That'll be enough. That recluse right there. Tell me all about your tree hugging days. <laughs> And let me know what else you hug. If it's not just trees, what else What else do you enjoy hugging? Those are cool cards. I like that land right there. Uh, the, those are tree huggers, man. <laughs> yes. Please let me know what else you enjoy hugging. Appropriate, guys. Be appropriate. It'll just get flagged automatically anyway. Predatory. Finishing out with Nath of the Dire Hunt. Not a bad way to finish out a box at all. Ginger Brute and the Forest of Beauty. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And don't forget, if you're ever in the area, Strongsville, Ohio... Make sure you drop in. Say hello to my friend Marcus. That would be amazing. Round Zero Comics. That's a good dude. Baking up for teenage crime. Let's see.